Hello. Um, in this lesson, we are going to work on a search. Okay, so we're going to have it right here somewhere. So if we go into uh, index.html.erb, down here, I'm going to put a paragraph. And here, we're going to say form. So there's a form for, for when we are um, saving things to database. But we'll use form tag when we're not exactly saving things, just querying. Um, for example, so here I say method is get. So we are posting using a get method, and we can end our form here. And within it, uh, we can create different tags. So we have um, a text field tag, and the name is search, and we end it there. Okay. And here we have our submit button, so we say submit tag. Okay, and we'll give it a name, just say search. All right, so this is a form tag which posts to our index for posts. Um, make sure it's plural there. We're using a get method. Um, and then we have the field, the search, and the button. So let's have a look and see. And there we go, we have it, um, have it here. All right, so now we are going to make our form field work. So when we click on submit, it's going to come to the index method. So let's um, put by bug there, go into here, copy something, paste it in here. So when we say search, um, this will freeze. And then when we go in here, we can check it out. Type params, so we can see what's been sent to it. We can see we have search uh, key there. So we can say params and search, and that gives us the value. So now we know how to get hold of the search value. Right. Um, Let's come over here, get rid of by bug. So now I want to say, if um, we have made a search, right? So if params search field, so this is checking that this search field exists. If it's present with a question mark at the end, so we want to do something else. So we know the user is trying to search for something. All right, so we set posts equals to post dot where. So we're searching the post records for where um, certain certain criteria are met. So where title is like something, or and for the other section, we are searching for title and content. So I want to search the posts for when if you search for something, it will check if there's a match in the title or the content. So we have this. Um, question marks, so they will be replaced uh, with whatever values we put here. So double quotation marks, and then we'll have double percentage. Um, and within that, we do a hashtag and curly brackets, um, open and close. So this is um, how it's done. So within here, we say params uh, search. All right, so this value will be replaced, uh, we put in here. So we need to do a second one for the second question mark. So this is a, this is a safer way of, um, of doing this. Uh, documentation has a, a lot more information. All right, so we've done that, um, but we need to add our paginator. So just copy this and put it at the end of our query. All right, so we're nearly there. So we'll now say else. So just in case you haven't done a search, you just merely refresh the screen, then we need to just get posts, all the posts, and that's it. So now check if there's a search, do this, else um, get the post as normal. So either way, we always have the instance variable at posts. All right, so this just uh, replaces our, our question marks. And that's as simple as that. Um, if we save this and come over here, copy this here, and when we search, it's going to search for all the titles and contents that have 
uh, matching criteria so of that so that could be anywhere in there or it could be in the content uh, if we search for D that will give us a lot more because I'm sure D is used uh, quite a lot so that's how um, that works so we, we could do a partial search and it gives us um, that record is shown we could just search for the first two characters so that's what like and uh, the double percentage that we that we've used that's what it does all right so we've learned how to partially match things using like uh, within our query and we've done um, we've added a search functionality that searches both title and content and returns the record for us um, so over here we can say uh, we've done the search field I was able to display a search field and we are able to search by content and title so that is also done okay so this is uh, this is where we can um, stop for this lesson in the next lesson we are going to carry on we've done a few things we've learned a few things here we've done our search fields and I'll see you in the next lesson.